How's it going, everybody? Walkie Talk Games here with another episode of The Walking Dead. Last time we were helping everybody out in the drugstore and helping them get situated. And now we're starting off to where we last left off with Glenn calling and asking for help. So without further ado, let's get started. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in the jam here. Uh, uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or, or on the talkie or whatever? This is, this is Lee. What's up? What's up? So, so I'm down at that motor inn, and well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? stuck. Yeah, I, uh, I saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't be. What's up? What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? That's awesome. I'll, I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You've got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in. I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Yes, sir. Let's go save Glenn. Man's in trouble with the walkers. You ready, you ready to head out? You got it. You got it. You, you. Yeah. It's ma'am. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta go save Glenn, ma'am. Now, I can see where Carly has the right to think that because at the beginning of all of this, it's all new. No one's really understanding the walkers. So I can kind of understand her, her skeptical feeling about this whole situation. But on the other hand, I can also see where Glenn and Lee are coming from. Safety in numbers with this whole end of the world. I mean, you can't be too careful, but you also gotta have people in a big group to survive. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Oh man, she's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. Yeah, thanks for that, Glenn. All right. Now I can sneak up on you. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. I mean, he's not wrong. That's kind of actually a smart idea to use the pillow to silence the gunshot a lot. 
a lot of noise is really not a good idea. So that was a really smart think, thinking that Lee did. Time for you to get stuck, fatso. That was awesome! <laughs> A pickaxe? That will come in handy. Yes, sir. Glenn thinking the impossible. I don't know about any of you guys, but what, what would you do personally if a zombie apocalypse ever happened? Like what, like where would you go? What would you do? What would be your first stop? Foods, weapons, that kind of stuff? Let me know in the comments. Gotta be the head, bro. It's always gotta be the head. Right in the school. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Internet ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Yes, sir. I prefer an axe over an ice pick anyway. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. That works. Rad. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. He's in trouble. Miss, we're coming in. Stop, just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late. That. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I 
won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. Really, Glenn? It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Come with us. We will find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're, they're satanic. I'm not going to let you shoot you yourself. Do that to yourself. And do it. We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be mine. Yes. Back up! Please! Whoa! Ah! Damn. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! Well, damn. Guess she really wanted to die. Some close calls, but Glenn is fine. And, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear you. And things back here? Why? Our friend is still in and out of here. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Before I help you, I'm going to go talk to my friend Glenn. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess you really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't we tell Carly to just give it to her? People can't be given up. This will pass. I'm with you. I'm glad to hear it. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Good talking to you, Glenn. The story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do, you do radio. That's right. That's right. Well, well until, until some, some piece of shit, shit politicians, politicians yank, our, yank funding, our funding, and I hit, and I hit the blogosphere. The better, better get back to it. Yep. Yep. Thanks, Thanks by the way. Don't mention, Don't mention it. it. Just remember, Just remember what, what I said. said. Yeah. Yeah. No, we will. No, we'll. Guess we better go and get the keys going? for the drugstore. Go we'll have a look around outside. Sure, why not? Have a look around. Okay. Okay.
That guy over there has the keys. keys. How can you How be, can sure? be sure? I found this in the office. office. That boy, that boy in the photo worked here. here. The keys, the keys being on him is as good as we can make. make. Yeah, yeah, I agree. agree. Just need to figure, figure, figure out how to get, get help and get, get them. You wouldn't need, you wouldn't long, need long, right? Uh, just a few seconds. seconds. Maybe there's, Maybe a, there's way a way to distract by you some time. Think you, think you, think you can do anything with this? Yeah, I used to feel a real around like that. There's not much to do with it now. You're a straight, straight, straight guy, guy, guy. You're not wrong, Lee. You're not wrong. Think you, think you can do anything with this? No, no, what I could do. I just asked What's you bad? if you could do something with it a few seconds ago. It's universal. It's universal. I could program, I could program it to work towards the TVs across the street. Just hope the power power's still alive. You could just do that, man. Well, at least you're useful for something, Doug. Well, well, well get done, Doug. Doug. All that dark nonsense would save the life. Who's to say it? I'm gonna have it. I gotta feel the music notice. But I don't know. Yeah, sure. Why don't you just go out there and be bait? Why the fuck would you be yelling, Doug? Jump scare for him. Why do you not aim for the head? Like, what is your indication to think that anything but traumatic brain damage to them at this point is gonna kill them? You stabbed the man with the pickaxe in the chest and you chopped your undead brother's neck nearly in half. There we, there we go. Holy crap! Run! Run! Well, you seem to be a shit watchman, Doug.
man, that was close. But he did. Why didn't you guys lock the gate with something? Is my question. You. I've got the keys. Great. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get it. That's about how it always goes. Just one time you think it's gonna be nice and easy for a ride, it just comes back. They're screwed. For you, Glenn, go. We don't make it through this. No, no, that I think you're a great guy. Shut the fuck up, Doug. Oh, shit. I'll give her that. She's a dead ass shot with that pistol. I prefer you not coming at this time. Thank you. We're closed. Tough situation. Ooh, we either had to save Carly or Doug. On one hand, Doug is pretty chill. He's pretty smart. I feel like that would be a useful resource, but Carly is a dead eye with that gun, and. Uh, well, I guess they both die. <laughs> Oh, sucks that you beat you both. <laughs> Bye. I, I feel like I'm gonna have to go with Carly. I, I'd rather have someone who's really good at being a shooter over someone that's really, really smart in the events of the apocalypse because it's all about survival, honestly. And I feel like I, I would have to choose Carly. Oh, you asshole. 
I help save you. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Yes, sir. Kenny got my back. I appreciate you, Kenny. I really feel bad for this man. He lost his entire family and didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. That's really gotta hurt. Can't stay, can't stay here, here. No, no, they, they could be trapped. Rat. Rat. City, city. Sounds, Sounds like nobody knows what's happening. When we left a few days ago, could have gone the other way. I gotta take my chances. I can respect that, and even understand that. I, I completely understand this man wanting to leave to go look for his people. Again. Close call, call back there. Thanks, thanks for picking me up. No problem. No problem. We have to we take, have to take care, of each care of each other. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Not Clementine. Not Clementine. Yeah. yeah. Earlier, Earlier I said, I said there's, there's some stuff, stuff out there that there might, might screw, screw up a precious, precious little girl, girl like her. Like her. You did. Well, I well, still, I still think, think that's, that's true. true. But after but what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Oh, hell yeah, I respect you now yeah, even talking. more, Ken. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? No. I know it's stupid. We just met, and he was such a. It's just that I think that I liked him. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Thanks, thanks. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone. I think. Wait, wait, Lee. What is it? How did you choose? Both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. Well, you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Kyle. I'd rather have a gun expert over smarts, evidently. If it comes to survival. The gun expert will most likely oh, man. Check this out. keep me safe on my six. Super dinosaurs toast. Never know 
what? He wasn't. Oh, and then? Hey, Doc, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. You're annoying, Doc. I'm sorry, there's a, a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, then. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, Lee, come here, come here. <laughs> Let me go Let me deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, oh, another, another thing. thing. Another what do you want? Like, like my daughter? daughter. Her dad had to kill him. Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hey. I don't like threats, sir. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. I got dug is dead because of me. And I he would have been dead for your dad. Only one man. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We can stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. Right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon, soon. Howdy. Howdy. I'm Andrew I'm St. John. John. We're from We're the St. John Dare. Dare. It's beautiful. beautiful. I never I did never thank you for saving the duck from the log rocks back at Russell's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry about as much as the bandits. I honestly thought I was telling Herschel the truth. I guess I lied. Alright everybody, that's all there is for today's episode of The Walking Dead. Next time we'll start up on episode 2. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. And don't forget to look out for more videos.